Hello there, this is Retro Wolf. In this video, I'm going to change the polarizer film in this iBook G3 clamshell. First, I'm going to turn it on just to make sure everything is working fine. As you can see, the so-called vinegar syndrome is quite noticeable on the screen. This laptop works perfectly. The only issue is the polarizer film in the display. So let's start taking it apart. There are a couple of screws in the front, and also a couple of them in the back. Then you need to pry the front bezel off as shown. first time it may take a bit of time. Just need to be patient and use plastic tools so you don't scratch or break anything. After the front bezel is removed, there are four more screws holding down the actual display to the chassis. Now we can safely remove the flex cables that connect the display to the motherboard. Lastly, we need to remove the metal frame of the display. After removing the four screws, we can use a plastic spudger to unclip the tabs. At this point, we can start removing the old polarizer film comfortably. The polarizer film is glued down with strong adhesive. To start prying it off, I recommend using a blade and going to one of the corners. You need to be careful so you don't scratch the glass. But if you put your blade very horizontally, parallel to the screen, it should be fine. Once you lift the corner with the blade and you can grab it with your finger, you can start pulling stronger. Just do it slowly so you don't break it. Now that the old polarizer film is out, the tedious task of cleaning the remaining glue starts. This is by far the most boring part of this fix. Be sure to put some music or a video on the back while doing it. For the cleaning, I start by pouring some 99% isopropyl alcohol on it and letting it soak for a bit for the glue to start getting softer and easier to remove. I then use both the blade, being very careful not scratching the glass, and paper towels to help myself remove the glue. I repeat it many times, being really patient until the screen looks clean of glue. At times it may feel like you are making a mess and not getting the screen cleaner. Just keep going. Pour more isopropyl alcohol, remove with the blade and paper, and repeat. Over and over again. You'll soon see the results. As you can see now, all the glue has been removed and the glass looks very clean. I finish up using some window cleaner. Now I connect the display back to the motherboard so I can turn it on and try the new polarizer film. I need to make sure of the orientation that has to be glued.
As you can see, depending on the orientation I put the film, the display looks different. The polarizer film needed for this laptop has to be a 135 degrees. I'll put a link in the description to this one that I bought from AliExpress. final prep and ready to stick the new film down. This part turned out to be the most difficult one for me. You need to align the film perfectly and start sticking it down properly. As you can see, I didn't get the best result. I ended up having several air bubbles. It doesn't affect the normal use of the laptop. Once it is on, you don't really see them, only when the laptop is off. If you know of a better method for putting the polarizer film, please let me know in the comments. I can try again. Now we can start putting everything back together. As you can see, the result is great. The screen looks like new.
This is it. I hope you liked the video and learned something. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you.